life. I was um, a still photographer to begin with, and then in college I made two films. They won two film festivals. They came to the attention of ABC. ABC hired me, not to shoot news, but to shoot something like an Ansel Adams, Charles Kuralt piece to end the news with. And I've done 23 documentaries, won two Emmys, and the last documentary was featured on Oprah. Finding my own way and setting up my own self as an entrepreneur in a production company, I could expand into a DP and as a director and then a producer and learning to close clients for big budgets. That's where I'd like everybody to be. That's how it should work out for everybody. Fletch, <laughs> okay, you've been in the film industry for how many years? About 30, okay. about 30 years. Getting the hang yeah. of it now. Yeah, yeah. Well, what keeps it really bright and alive for you? Well, I think uh, when you do your first film and you hear the audience's reaction, it's a real buzz to feel like you've communicated on a very aesthetic band width to an audience you don't even know, and they're laughing at the right parts, and they're crying at the right parts, and it's a high that you just can't really get enough of, and I think that's why I'm still in the game. I just love it. I love to get great shots, and I love to help younger filmmakers get over the hurdles that are slowing them down from getting the great shots they've got in their mind. What's your secret sauce? How do you get people up over the hurdles and get them rolling? I think when we start to talk about lighting, I can just hear the room go quiet. And yeah. I can tell I'm in waters that they have either skipped over or somebody's told them a bunch of BS and they don't know. Uh, Three-point lighting is the worst possible lighting you can do unless you're trying to emulate 60 minutes. But right. uh, I would say you can't find a single motion picture that has three-point lighting in it. So when we have them study the masters, we look at Rembrandt, I talk about the Rembrandt patch, and I can start to see people going, Rembrandt patch, what are you talking about? And it's like, oh, you see the, the north light, soft light, and you create a little patch of light. Right. And they start making notes, and then we take it up through the masters, Caravaggio, Vermeer, for example, one of our lighting workshops, we emulated the girl with the pearl earring. Right. And we got a picture of, uh, we used Rembrandt Studio, but they were all using the same setup. And we did, um, blocked off all the light on a north facing window, except the, the little rectangle that Rembrandt had. And the results were stunning. It just was like, my gosh, the secrets are so simple. But I think film schools, perhaps, or people who just don't know, overcomplexify the process and you lose sight of what am I trying to achieve as a filmmaker. But as soon as I tell a person, find your main light source, position your subject so that you can see a Rembrandt patch on their cheek and you're mostly home. So these guys out there who are watching mm -hmm. this and they want to improve their either for still photography because the same basics apply, right? Yeah, absolutely. Or, or filmmaking. The thing is, looking at the masters, emulating it so that they actually right. set it up, and we're going to see how that setup was done, right? Mm -hmm. And then they do it. Yeah. So, Fletch, what would be a good entry level lighting kit for a new filmmaker? Well, I think most of the lighting kits are built around uh, the three point lighting idea, and that's where they start to go off the rails. So, I recommend uh, a very simple lighting kit which of course works off of available light, but it, it gives beautiful lighting. Uh, we have a, a flex fill over here you can't see off camera, and it's about a five foot by four foot, and it's uh, $57, it has five surfaces, and it's, it's lighting me as well as rimming Mark. And then we have a little light up here that's battery operated, four double A's. It costs, I think, $29, and so, you're pretty much in, and then there's one more that costs $6 called a China Ball. And it gives off the most gorgeous light you can imagine. And I think that's, that would be my recommendation because I've seen great effects, you'll see it in the B-roll, yeah. of what you can do with just those fixtures that I've named. That's awesome. How do you approach lighting when you teach students? Well, we realize that most beginning filmmakers overlight the scene. So we started calling our lighting workshop the darkness workshop. Hmm. We show them in a sequence of slowly removing the fill light and maybe some of the light on the background, how much more dramatic their shot gets. 
just by lowering the light levels and bringing in darkness to the shot. I know it sounds weird, like, how do you light a scene? Well, you take a lot of the light away. But I've worked with DPs. The first thing they do is they black out all the windows, and then they, they shape the light just like they want it. They don't want to be interfered with by something else. Less is more. Less is more, and I, I mean, I've literally heard students gasp. It's like, oh. Oh my gosh. If you know how to light, you could be shooting with an iPhone or a 35 millimeter Panavision Cinemascope camera. Mm. You're golden. If you don't know how to light, you're toast. Fletch, thanks for joining us, but you're welcome. for joining us in the big sense mm -hmm. on the AYP channel. And again, we're going to make this a conversation. Mm -hmm. So you guys leave your comments and questions here. Fletch mm -hmm. will see them, he can address them in you know, future videos. We yep. can keep this thing two-way. And we're going to do our best to make it multilingual, so uh, don't hesitate to put your questions in your native language. We know a lot of uh, translators who can help us, so we'd like to get the message out worldwide and really help filmmakers do better in their skill set. Beautiful. Yeah. Thanks for joining us, Fletch. Yeah, very exciting time, Mark. It is. And before you guys go, hit that like button, okay? Leave your comments. We want to see them, we want to hear from you, and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything, and remember to get out and capture your own images of life.